What was your childhood like growing up with two deaf parents? Um, so for the most part, my childhood was happy. Um, it was pretty normal. Um, I didn't really realize that I was different from other kids until I got older, especially in school. You know, kids are mean. <laughs> but um, I want to say, like, when I started preschool, I thought everyone had someone deaf in their family because that was just so normal to me. So once I start seeing people's parents pick them up and just going over people's houses and realize, like, okay, no one has anyone deaf in their family. Like, it's just me. That's kind of when insecurities, I guess, kind of trickled in a little bit. Um, my childhood was a lot of exploring because of that. Um, I had to grow up really early, um, always having to translate for my parents. You know, the society, our society isn't accessible at all. And it really wasn't back then. So everywhere I went, I couldn't just be a kid. I had to be a negotiator. I had to be a translator. I had to be a therapist. I had to be um, an advocate. I had to, like, there was a lot of things that I had to do that I didn't even know I could do. Um, but it was, I had to, cause I was with my parents and there was no way that communication was going to get through if it wasn't, if I wasn't there. Um, but my childhood was very happy. I mean, my parents loved me just like any other parents love their kids. Um, my, me and my parents weren't close because of that kind of barrier. Um, and just because my mom, so my grandma is hearing, so she's not deaf. So having a deaf kid, especially when you're 16, you don't really know what you're doing. I mean, a lot of first-time parents don't know what they're doing. And then you have a deaf child on top of that, and you have a deaf child that wants to be deaf. They identify with deaf culture. They're meeting deaf friends, and they, you know, they're very strong about that, and you have to support it. That's a lot on a young woman, especially living in the hood, um, mm -hmm. work, having to work, yeah. having to work. You know, my grandma, she worked her ass off. My grandma, she provided as much as she could for her family. And but there was a sense of not being close. So my grandmother, and my mom wasn't close because of that. And then it kind of went into me and my mom not being close. Even though we weren't close, though, it's still I would do anything for my mom. You know, even though we weren't close, I still very much protected her. Um, I would, in front of people, you know, she's right. But when we go home, you probably did do that a little wrong. Like, you know, right, right, right. but it mm -hmm. was, that was important to me because I want to be the mom that is close with my kids, whether they're deaf, whether they're hearing, that's going to change. Um, I think that's a generational curse that's on my family is that the women um, aren't close with their kids. Well, with their daughters in particular. And that's something that I'm going to for sure <laughs> change whenever I have kids. Right. 